Here we go. Okay, time for Circuit Python. Okay. Python on hardware. First up, speaking of like Raspberry Pi folks and more, Gaming. Wireframe is yet another magazine in the Raspberry Pi Foundation publishing empire. And uh, they reviewed and did a uh, feature on the uh, console you can wear as a badge, our Pi badge. So that's in this month issue, which is available for subscription, or you can download it. Yep, a lot of people are asking about Pi Badge and Pi Pool. Yep. We're, we're going to yep. We don't have enough yet. Next up, <laughs> making them. Circuit Python snakes its way to the pages of Make and Rainbows. Yeah, so this is an edge lit um, LED rainbow project. This is by Mom Projects, and uh, we saw this online a while ago, and now it's in the latest issue of Make that will be hitting subscribers. You guys like rainbows? I want rainbows. Yeah. Soon. Yeah, the whole the company was founded on rainbows. It's true. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Rainbows and pirates. Um, and then also. Uh, Hackster did a interview with Sophie. Sophie's making the rounds, and um, check that out. Some stuff about she's got her book coming her, out, her workflow, some of the things that she's doing, and then also Circuit Python and more. This weekend, Lydia did everyone a favor and got Blinker running on Coral. That's right. You can use digital I/O, PWMs, um, I squared C, SPI, and UART on the Coral board to all of our. Hats and breakouts and sensors and you know I, I even got it working with uh, servos and stuff because there's built-in hardware PWMs. Check that out if you have a coral board. You can now do AI projects um, and then attach hardware because it's always good to have hardware with your AI projects. And a whole bunch of Pi Portal projects have been coming in. This is uh, one from our learning system. This is Word of the Day. This is an International Space Station Tracker. This one was... Um, this is a Twitter API, actually. This is a Twitter API one, and this one, I think folks were working at it from PyCon. Yep, this is a Sprint's project. This is Tides. Tides. And then this is, like, nice graphical Tides. I think this yeah. is the Admiralty, so this is, like, the UK Tides update. This uses the Strava. Strava API, and then, I think, like, Google Sheets, and then eventually it um, gets to the, the Pi Portal. So it's kind of neat to see everyone doing some um, pretty advanced projects with uh, a low-cost IoT screen and using Python. Uh, this is uh, a camera switcher. And, like the uh, green arrow tells you, this is yeah, the thing. In case you're wondering, what is it? What's that thing? It's this oh, thing. It's this, thing. Uh, this is a project in the works. Uh, Arturo is working on this. This is a feather wing, and it's also a feather. And it's, it's like a, a, it's a handheld. Uses, yeah, it uses the um, BlackBerry keyboard, so it's a Fauxberry, so it's like a fake yeah. Circuit Python running BlackBerry type thing. And uh, we just kind of report on this because it's one of those things that we just hear about. Um, there's more information and some sneak peeks of the next next version of the TI-83. Right now it runs Circuit Python, and there's another version coming out which looks like it's going to be called TI Python. So we posted up about that. I think it's a variant of Circuit Python. Um, over on CrowdSupply, the um, board. Teeny Pico, yeah, the running teeny, MicroPython, yeah, the, ESP32. That one just. Uh, Check it out. Just the launched. Crowdsupply pages. And then we covered some um, Python news. This person interviewed you. This is uh, Guido on the right hand side. Yeah, so they talked about Python, and then what's funny is that like a week later, I, the you same, were on, yeah. same podcast interviewed me. And we also got a pull request from the creator of Python about fixing an issue with Idle, one of the. Editors, yeah. Editors. And yeah. then you were on the Cube from the Red Hat Summit talking about Circuit Python. That Cube. It's a blue cube. Yeah, me and Saloni we were the winners yeah. of Red Hat. Uh, check out the video. Um, it was fun. We were there for five, five minutes. And yeah. uh, I got called a young lady. Yep. Um, there's the Circuit Python hands-on workshop at IoT Makers Israel. It's tomorrow. Yep, and we sent them some hardware. And then in New York City... Um, Circuit Playground of Beginners Workshop on Electronics and Coding, Sunday, May 19th, and Sunday, June 1st. It's at, at Makerspace NYC, FutureWorks Makerspace at Brooklyn Army Terminal. We're up to 155 libraries. All of this stuff and more is in awesome-circuitpython. You can find that on GitHub. You can also just go to circuitpython.org. That is the news um, for Circuit Python hardware this week. Python <laughs> hardware. Thank you, Blinka. Okay. Moving um, along. Yeah. Time travel.